Hey guys, welcome back here. We're here with Meals on Wheels, Missoula Asian Services, and you guys are here to talk about uh, the importance of Meals on Wheels program and how it brings meals to those um, who need it. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's nice nutritious meals, basically. Yeah. Um, I'll let you guys kind of explain it a little bit more for those of you who don't know what Meals on Wheels is. So certainly. Yeah. What is it? Well, Meals on Wheels, we serve our homebound population here in Missoula. And we're looking actually for more wonderful volunteers for Meals on Wheels, yes. like Greg here. And uh, so, Greg, tell us yeah. about uh, <laughs> your experiences with the Meals on Wheels program. And you've been doing it for about two and a half years. Yes, yes. Uh, it's a wonderful experience. Not only do you get to work with wonderful staff, uh, you get to work with other wonderful volunteer drivers, but you also get to meet. A wonderful population out there that we serve mm -hmm. the clients that it you you make some really neat uh, bonds yeah. and it's just a wonderful experience yep and the importance of, of Meals on the Wheels program associated with Missoula Asian Services yes. to uh, the um, to promote, promote the dignity, independence and dignity and, and health, health of older adults and those who care for them. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to like say it with you, but then I, I realize that I'm failing miserably. I'm sorry. That's okay. I, I've had I've had Missoula Agent Service on here all the time and it's always great to have you guys here to talk about Thanks many of your us. many programs that provides seniors with an opportunity to help each other, mm -hmm. help the community, uh, work with many different avenues as well, but also anybody out there can work with the Meals on Wheels programs as long as they have a clean driving record. Clean driving record yeah. and a flexible schedule. So when we deliver meals, we deliver meals Monday through Friday, and the time commitment is from about 10 o'clock in the morning um, until, I say, until 2 in the afternoon. Some of our routes are much, uh, a much more distance. Right. We go all the way out 9 Mile, Lolo, Clinton, Potomac, we go right. all over the place. Uh, so some of the routes, they, t they take a little bit longer. Yeah, I remember that most of the time it starts at 10 a.m., yep. which is a reasonable time, and then you basically go until you uh, are done. Yep. And then you go yes. go back and you take some of the bags that you have collected, and it's it's basically nice little uh, uh, lunch, large lunch bags that you take yep. to people. Um, I noticed that on Fridays, uh, you only do it five days a week, but Fridays, you give them bigger meals. Yep, we'll send frozen meals for uh, for our clients to heat up on the weekend so they have a, a hot meal for their Saturday and Sunday meals as well. You know, um, we're also looking to get more volunteer drivers in, and the in addition to providing that, that quality nutrition, one third of a person's daily nutrition uh, requirements are what what's met with the Meals on Wheels. We also provide that safety check, that daily check-in, yes. and Greg can speak to that. It's so important yeah. because all of the clients we serve are homebound, oftentimes the only people that they see is their Meals on Wheels driver. The driver, mm -hmm. yes, very and it, often. And it's really crazy, you know, like I constantly, I'm, I'm like, as I'm getting older, I'm like really constantly thinking that, what if I slip and fall, mm -hmm. and then maybe I hurt myself to a point where I can't get up, Mm -hmm. And I need to f figure out a way to get to a certain point, and uh, you know, like, and, and then you you don't know who's going to be there. Like right. your phone's not anywhere near you. And it's like it's nice just to really have those kind of checkups. Yep. Just to knock on the door, nobody answers. Like, huh, this is kind of fishy. Yeah. And it's always nice to kind of report that and be like, okay, let's have some people check in. Yep. And you know, it's it's nice uh, checks. For Absolutely, sure. and our drivers are very much watchdogs. You know as far as being concerned for the clients, if they think something is awry, like you were just describing, they will call us up at Missoula Aging Services and let us know what's going on, and then our, our staff, social workers, can follow up and check, make mm -hmm. sure that they're doing all right. right. So, All right, so uh, it seems like the, uh, a lot of people are in this program, and you guys are always looking for new drivers. Where yeah. can people find more information? If you go to our Missoula Aging Services website, it's www.missoulaagingservices.org. Uh, there are volunteer applications right there. Um, and you can also learn more about the Meals on Wheels program. For example, we served over 100,000 wow. meals last year alone. Wow. Yep, and we couldn't do it without our volunteers. No way could we do it and, without them. And the program seems to just get bigger and bigger every year. Yep. And one of the things you always need are drivers. Yes, indeed. So if you're interested, ResilientAsianServices.com, or you can call them at... 728-7682. All right, thanks, guys, very much for joining me. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. All right.